you feel like you're struggling with getting the right consistency in gouache, here are three reasons why that might be happening for you. Number one, you're starting with too much water mixed into the paint. The opacity of gouache is greatly reduced when you introduce even the smallest amount of water into it. You can still be pretty fluid with it and add a decent amount of water to it as long as you keep a lot of pigment in the paint and don't dilute it to the point where it's feeling like watercolor because that kind of misses the point. So always start with as much paint in the mixture as possible and only add enough water to make it fluid and no more. Number two, your brand of gouache is inferior. So this is what will happen if you use something like Hemi gouache or any of the student brands. And what's happening with those is that a lot of those paints have a lot of binder and other things not pigment that make it cheaper to manufacture but worse to paint with. What happens is they have too much binder, the ratio of pigment to binder is off, or they use too much glycerin or anything like that that makes it stickier or it will harden too fast. It'll just dry out and become hard and not easy to work with anymore. So spend a little more per tube and you'll do a lot better in the long run. And number three, your paper is too absorbent. A lot of times your surface makes a big difference in what happens with the paint. The same mixture can behave differently on one type of paper versus another. So if you're used to using just smooth sketchbook paper, try some watercolor paper or some illustration board. Brands I recommend, Arches of course, but if that's too expensive for you, try Stonehenge. It's a decent lower cost alternative to the premium watercolor brands, and it's not that big of a step down. One of the main differences with that is that it's a little bit thinner, so it doesn't handle a lot of, of water the same way that Arches and Fabriano might. And then some really good illustration board brands, Canson, Crescent is probably my favorite. So yeah, try those if you haven't before. The moment I began to understand that you need way less water mixed into the paint than you think was when my journey to mastering gouache really started to take off. This is just one of the ways I went from just trying to figure out gouache to making professional quality paintings in the medium in a short amount of time. If you want to learn more about taking your gouache painting to the next level, comment below and leave one of your social media handles or any sort of way that I can contact you and I'll reach out to you and get you some info to get you started on the next level of your journey. Also, I'll leave in the description to this video a link to a PDF on how to paint gouache in your sketchbook. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you want some more gouache tips like this in the future.